In many international trade courses, when there's an analysis of a tariff, the implicit assumption is that the government of the, in the importing country is going to impose a tariff on all the sources of the foreign uh, goods, and moreover, that all of the foreign uh, producers have the same, same cost and sell it at, at a common price. In many instances in practical uh, trade policy making, that is not, uh, neither of those conditions are, are, uh, are met. So what I want to take a look at here is differential tariffs. Now what do I mean by that? That is a tariff that is imposed on one country and not the others. And this comes uh, into context in many different instances. For example, in the case of economic sanctions or in uh, anti-dumping cases, which was discussed in a, in a, in a different uh, video. But there's sometimes when you may impose the restrictions only on one country and not on others. We're going to do this in, the, in, in a simple uh, framework with small country, perfect competition, homogeneous goods. And first we're going to make the following assumptions, that all foreigners have identical costs and that they all sell at the, at the, the standard international price. So that's closer to what uh, people will uh, normally analyze. So there's the, the world price, and that's the, the price for everybody. Now let's imagine, and, and so domestic uh, production is Q1, domestic consumption is Q2. So let's suppose that we're talking about an instance where the United States decides to put a, a tariff on Chinese products and Chinese products alone. So we'll have a tariff on Chinese imports into the United States. So with that, we'll have the Chinese price plus some tariff that is imposed. And let me identify some of the various quantities and standard areas on uh, a graph, and so we have the Chinese price plus the tariff, and so I want you to stop and think about for a second what will be the impact on the domestic price and on domestic quantities supplied and consumed if the Chinese price is now this, in this context. So. It's very tempting to look at this in, when, in many practical instances when people see this type of situation, they'll say, well, you know, you impose a, a tariff on the Chinese, the domestic price in the United States is going to go up, you're going to have the uh, domestic production increase, you're going to have domestic consumption decrease, you're going to have tariff revenue, so they have the standard analysis. In fact, if we're talking about a situation where there's robust international competition and, importantly, sufficient world supply to replace Chinese imports, and this is critical, if there's sufficient Chinese uh, international supply then the domestic price in the United States need not go up at all. So the tariff on one particular producer into the United States while letting others come in free will not have any effect on the domestic consumption nor on domestic production. What it will do is simply price the Chinese out of the U.S. market because they have to pay this tariff and the for other foreigners do not. So if you're talking about identical costs and sufficient foreign supply to replace the targeted imports, no effects on domestic consumption and production. So this really provides no protection to the domestic uh, industry. What it does do is eliminate Chinese imports into the, the U.S. market. 
So this is one instance that can sometimes see, just displace or re or, uh, reorganize who imports, but doesn't have any effect on the domestic uh, um, consumers and producers. Now you could have a situation where the Chinese had lower costs than the rest of the world, so that initially all imports were coming from the Chinese, and that's often uh, the case in, uh, in some, some markets today. And then you have the higher world price, and so foreigners aren't uh, participating in the U.S. market. And so in that case, if you increase the tariffs on the Chinese, it can have an impact. Let's say, for example, that the Chinese tariff is just enough to equate the world price from other sources with the Chinese price inclusive of the tariff. In that instance, you do have an impact on the domestic market. In that case, you do have an increase in producer surplus of B, of, of A. You do have a decrease in domestic consumer surplus of A, B, C, D. Now, one thing that is not clear is how much revenue that the domestic government would receive because it depends on, finally, who you import from. So, to, to give you a sense of this, let's suppose just a slightly different scenario where the tariff increased the Chinese price just a little bit above the world price, so that the Chinese are completely knocked out of the market, and the other foreigners are allowed in duty-free. In that case, uh, area C would be not gain in terms of tariff revenue, but instead would uh, essentially go to increase sales to foreigners who are now able to sell inside the, uh, the, the U.S. market. If instead the Chinese price was just a little bit below the world price, in that case you would have an increase in the domestic price Chinese products would be the ones that would be um, uh, taxed at the border, and C would be potential revenue to the government. So, in, in sum, differential tariffs can have different effects depending on the composition of the costs and how these are, are structured. It is certainly possible with, the, with perfect competition for the, the differential tariff to have essentially no effect on the domestic economy even though it manages to price out um, the imports of, from a particular country. On the other hand, if you have a circumstance like this, then domestic consumers will, uh, can bear a significant uh, burden from the tariff and domestic producers gain. Whether or not the government gains any tariff revenue or not depends on uh, the exact the exact policy that's uh, in place. In short, when doing analysis of circumstances with differential tariffs, you need to pay attention to the circumstances and not simply apply this, the same textbook uh, tariff uh, analysis that is often uh, done in practice.